Um, good morning, Mr. Tasaka. Um, How are you? I am Andrew Johnson of the Queen's Chronicle. Yes. Um, you um, called us yesterday to complain about sanitation leaving garbage cans on the street near your <laughs> neighborhood. Um, can you explain the situation? Okay. First of all, good morning to you. I said good morning to you. Yes. Um, here goes. For years I have been complaining that we put our, the, the property owners put their cans out on the sidewalk, the trucks come by and take, we take the garbage and leave the cans in the street. They're not completing their job. We have to buy the cans and we're paying them. And I'm with the understanding that the sanitation people is one of the best paying civil, civil jobs there is. And uh, enough is enough. You can go block after block. And as I say, I don't think that you'll find this, that kind of behavior in Douglaston Manor or uh, Bayside Gables. You're not going to find it. I'm almost positive. Um, Where the, the hue is darker, that's what's happening. Um, well, I've called the department numerous times. I've told the community board about it. They did it yesterday. All of them down 46 now, but I'm not just talking about this block. That's what they do. They leave the cans in the street. Um, can I ask you, um, do you have pictures of this so that people... I don't have any pictures of it, now. Can, um, can you, are you able to take pictures? I don't, I don't, I, my, my cameras, and I, um, uh, but I'll tell you when they come. They come, um, Monday morning, and they'll come on Thursday. They'll come on Thursday, Monday morning, and they'll come on Thursday. Yes. We put our, put our, our garbage out, but, excuse me, regular garbage out Sunday night, and they pick it up early in the morning. Okay. Um, you have an email address? No, I don't. I don't. I, I, I got the computers over there. They'll charge up. I don't even use it anymore. Um, okay, so they don't leave... They they don't they leave the garbage cans. They take the garbage they leave the garbage cans, which is not normal. Yeah. I, I, I bet I bet the sanitation department doesn't do that down on Park Avenue. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay, I understand. Yes. Um Um, you're a civic activist for what organization? Oh I I'm the community activist. I, I, Bedford Clearspring Council. I had served on the community board number 11 for about 17 years. Wait, what's the name of that organization again? Be 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 Bayside, Bayside Clear Spring Council. Bayside Clear Spring Council. I'll, I'll be afraid that I was the chairman of that. Um, so uh, I'm no longer on the community board. I didn't want to be like some of the people waiting for the hearse to come and pick them up. <laughs> I stepped aside some years ago. And okay. I had to the so. You're not with the community board anymore, okay? Oh, no. Right? You're with Bayside again? No, okay. I, I, the, I'm no longer president of Bayside Clear Spring Council, but I'm still a, an activist. Everybody knows me, but you'll get to know me probably too. Okay. I'll tell you what, do you want to know about me? You, you, you got a computer there in front of you? Um, yeah, I have a computer in. Look, look up. Go, yeah. See all the things I've done. All right. All right. Thank you for your. Thank you for responding, uh, sir. Because of me, uh, the, the, all the streets was put in in this area. They had when I came back home from Harlem in '72. The streets were just like 1900. No sidewalks, no curbs. People walking down the middle of the street. Every once in a while, a highway truck would come and like a big monster drop some hot stuff out in the street. And they would take the, the ironings and press the, you know, fill in the holes in the street, and they'd be gone. No sidewalks. I mean, I wrote this area off as borderline poverty. When the house was bad. And um, so I got all the streets put in. The playground up the street, Playground 158, I'm a, they call it Marie Curie Playground Park, but it's a, it's a playground. I got $1.3 million in there. When we had the problem with crack in the 80s, I was in the forefront of leading that. I've got all kind of a 
was. I'm looking ahead from John Lou. I took a big one here. Uh, Council member John Lou, and I got one from him as the controller. And I've got numerous awards all around here for things I've done. Okay. That's an interesting life. I'll tell you something else. Mm hmm. Uh, because of me calling then Congressman Gary Ackerman, it was during the time that um, Ronald Reagan passed away. I was in the hospital, I had colitis, and I'm watching television, and there was, there was a ceremony of bringing his remains back to the Capitol. I just read the book, The Debt What America Owes Blacks, and it spoke about the White House, I mean the Capitol, that we built it. And I said to myself, I've seen this ceremony of, like Ronald Reagan's all the way back to Roosevelt. But they're always talking about what those white folks have done, but they don't ever say anything what the Africans have done. So I picked up the phone and called Gary Ackman from the hospital's office, and I told him it was about. They switched me over to Washington, D.C. From that call, a call uh, they opened up the Emancipation Hall in the capital of the United States. And 2010, I got a big picture here with Congressman John Lew, Lewis and Gary Ackerman and myself at the White House, I mean at the Capitol, with a plaque that I got, and they put, in pl put plaques up, acknowledging the fact that it was enslaved, not slaves, enslaved, apples, uh, uh, enslaved uh, people who built, Af Africans, enslaved Africans, who built the Capitol in Washington, D.C., from the ground up. Mm -hmm. okay. That it was sent off to Obama, February 3 of this year, saying the same thing about the White House. We built it on the ground up, but we built it twice. It's not taught in school, but it's a fact. Mm hmm. I understand. Thank you so much, sir. For um, is there everything I'm saying, look up a Google Gobble, as I call it, and you'll Google? see it. Google? Okay, I'll check it. Thank you very much, sir. I bless your heart, sir. Hope to meet you sometime. You're welcome. Oh, here's one for you. Yes? I live on 46th Avenue, here in Bayside, between 206th Street and Oceana, the Clear Expressway. 46th Avenue, 206th Street. Oceana Street. Oceana Street. Mm-hmm. Okay. The cars come down here flying along about 50 miles, 60 miles an hour. All right. And um, they, they have school crossing and whatnot. They ignore it. So I made a suggestion to community board number 11 that where my home is, is 206-4146 Avenue. They can put a speed bump there because directly across the street there is a no parking zone for fire hydrants. So they could put, put a speed bump there. That's to slow them down. We have so many children in this area. Wow. We have uh, PS31 up on Bell, between 46 Avenue and 46 Road. There's the playground, right that same corridor, and at the corner of Oceana, their street, there is Middle School 158. And so they just can't do this, but they're doing it. You have schools and playgrounds in that area, but they're still doing that. Yeah, they, they, I'm telling you, I, it's, I, it's just shocking to see. I get chills when I think about it. To see the way those cars race down the street in both directions. Cars racing down the street in both yeah. directions. Okay. Um, wait, what's your street again? I got to just... 46th Avenue. 46th Avenue. Between 206th Street between, and Oceana Street. Between 206th Street and Oceana Street. Okay, thank you very much, sir.